Effectively, we're taking a tool that has been in the hands of parents and in the hands of schools to maintain discipline. And we're removing it from the parent's prerogative and saying, we, Big Brother, the state of Oklahoma, knows what's best for your child, and we're removing an entire motivational tool from discipline in the classroom. And this is an erosive and a corrosive element in the United States whenever Dr. Benjamin Spock published a book that said, don't discipline your children, don't spank your children. And a lot of people don't know that. His voice was elevated because it fit a particular agenda. Dr. Benjamin Spock was a socialist who ran for the People's Party. That means he's a communist, okay? And disrupting discipline and defying Scripture is precisely what the Communist Party and socialists do by increment. Proverbs twenty-two fifteen. Foolishness is bound up in the heart of a child, but the road of discipline drive the rod of discipline drives it from him. So at the end of the day, it's a very simple question. Do you believe the parents have the right in partnership with the schools to determine what disciplinary protocols should be put in place? Or are we going to create an entire class of individuals sending a strong message from here? We know better than the parents. And if you can't, if you have hearing impairment or you're visually impaired, suddenly you're in a class of people that cannot be disciplined. Are we sending a message that we don't love our children? Whoever spares the rod hates their child. But the rod of discipline will drive foolishness from their hearts. There are philosophical principles at play right here on the floor of the Senate. 